figured I'd give you an idea of one of my training runs. Uh, I've already done three and a half to get in here. It was my first run since the 5K over the weekend. I didn't do the 5K too well. That's another story. But uh, we'll get to the beach and um, run along the beach and get a little of the sunrise. All right. Man, the colors are already starting to look really spectacular. Um, I got up at 6 o'clock. I almost didn't do this this morning. I don't know what it is about running early. Some people would say 6 isn't that early. But when you do get up, especially when you have a beach like this, oh, you're really thankful that you got your lazy side out of you. I used to uh, shoot pictures for a surf report, and every morning I'd be down here, and the benefit was seeing the sunrise, obviously. Um, just very peaceful, and we got conditions that are always changing, so light and color is always different. Second Avenue South, only gone a couple blocks. We, uh, We'll be uh, in about 20 years, maybe sooner, 10 years, everyone's going to be talking about this crazy sandbar slash surf break at 2nd Avenue South. Hey dude, did you surf the 2nd uh, Avenue South? Uh, they'll call it the, I don't know, the chair. And that's because this thing will eventually sink and the bar over top of it will be the perfect A-frame wave breaking off of it. <laughs> so you heard it here first. Uh, this is my typical entry and exit point coming to the beach, leaving the beach, 16th South. Uh, there's about a mile and a half left of running, so I just uh, put this thing back down, give the beach one last look. Okay, Osceola. Uh, there's a K, my neighborhood's right off of this Osceola. And South Beach Parkway, about a half mile up and left. So uh, that's the run. It's uh, about 7.50, I think. No, I'm sorry, 7.30. And I'm going to finish this fast, so no more filming. And uh, look forward to seeing you Saturday on the training run. Six miles plus a magic mile.